I forgot to show you the difference between the admin tab on Curator on-prem versus Curator uh, QRock. So in here, this is my demo system, my on-prem equivalent. And as you can see, I have on user management, I can create user, define user role, security profile, authentication, authorized services for token, uh, tenant management. Uh, you know, there, there are, you're going to definitely see f more icons in here than what you'll see in QRock. Let's actually see QRock. And here's QRock. As you see on the user management, there are some things that I, that, that I do not do, that do not have. I need to contact the folks in QRock for them to do some of these things for me. But I do have tenant management, right? I have multi-tenancy capability and I have, you know, many of the things that we use the most are definitely there. Uh, the apps that you add, you, you see them in here, UBA, you, you still have access to all that. Uh, but some things are reserved uh, by the folks of, uh, of, of QRock and, and you will need to request them to perform actions for you. I can add uh, extension management here. Another thing that I want to mention also, now that I see the tenant management, is that uh, sometimes in QRock, uh, you might be better off by doing, instead of doing multi-tenancy, well, since this is something on the cloud and I pay for EPSs, which is what I pay for, uh, and, and storage on, on QRock, it might be better off, instead of having a multi-tenant environment, I may have two instances of, of, of QRock and and have them, you know, connected to a master console, for example. I mean, things of that nature. But again, I, I've, I've, uh, my apologies for not including this uh, contrast between what you get on the cloud and what you get on-prem. So I wanted to complete the video on that.